Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and welcome back to another visual novel playthrough. And today we're going to be looking at the newest release from AJTilly.com, High School X Romance. I want to thank the people over at AJ Tilly for giving me the chance to play this game. And so uh, let's go ahead and get right in and uh, get started. Uh, so it looks like our name is Shoji. I'm going to go with that. It was supposed to be a new school, a new start. Guys my age are supposed to have friends, to go out and have fun. Was it foolish of me to think that would actually happen, to look forward to it? I just arrived this morning, getting off the train and lugging a suitcase full of clothes and personal effects along the narrow, bustling sidewalks. It's a scene I was used to. Every new place I moved, I out. I always the I was always the weird transfer student. But for once, I was happy to be somewhere new, a place I could really call home, a private boarding school. All I could think of was how lucky I was to be here, to have a school where I could finally belong. That is until What did you say? Alright, so unlike Divine Slice of Lice guys, this is not voiced, so I'm gonna have to do voices for you, and I hope they don't burn your ears. They probably- I won't try to do two girly voices because it just won't sound good, but I'll try to make some variation. So how are we gonna pronounce this? Is it Leah or Leia? I'm gonna go with Leah, but we'll see how it goes. This is a boarding school f that only admits girls. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Shoji? Soji, are you alright? At this moment, I'm anything but alright, but I have to play it cool. S sorry what You look a little out of it. I think we're all a little surprised, but are you sure you're okay? That's it. It has to be a dream. This is a nightmare. I'm going to wake up now. I'm fine, I think. There's no need to worry. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. This isn't the kind of trouble I usually associate with with the principal's office. So far, she's been kind and understanding about the issue, though maybe a little too nonchalant. She looks so young that at first, I couldn't tell her apart from the other students. I've tried calling your parents, but neither of them have been answering the phone. Oh, they're probably still on the plane. Oh, I got a burp. Oh, goodness gravy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a half-truth. My parents work for the government. They always need to travel for work, and their schedule is especially busy this year. This time, even I might not be able to talk to them for, for them much for a couple weeks. Which leaves you here for the time being. This probably wouldn't be a big deal to most students. I get that. A boy in an all-girls school, it sounds like a quirky story you'd tell, about a, you'd tell to a new acquaintance. One time, in high school, I got accepted to an all-girls school. It would be a great dinner. <laughs> Wait, great di anecdote. I was like, what? I thought I was going to say conversation, but did not, obviously. But right now, I just feel terrified. Um, my mother sh said she went to the school herself. How did she not realize? Ah, but this wasn't an all-girls boarding school. This was only a recent change in the last decade or so. We always had a high female enrollment, but they said they decided to make it exclusive. When your mother is here, I'm sure it was co-ed. Although that doesn't explain why she marked you as female on the forums. Female? Uh, my mother works for the government, but she can't even fill out a student recommendation correctly. Well, I wish I could do something to help, but my hands are tied. It's kind of against rules to let a guy in. Wait, there has to be something we can do. Some kind of loophole. It happens all the time in anime. 
you do realize this is real life, right? I just... Why are you so afraid of leaving? If I do, I'll be dragged around the country with my parents for another year. I just got here. I don't want to leave. Please, I'm begging you. I'll do anything. Hmm, an exception. Ah, uh, well, you are pretty... <laughs> What are you talking about? I meant your body. You might be able to pass as one. Of one what? Are you... <laughs> are you going to let me in? Yes. I think I know a way. Oh, thank... Uh, but only if you pretend to be a girl. Dot, dot, dot. P pretend to... To be a girl. Is that even legal? Looking at your file, your academic performance is very impressive. I don't think she's listening to me. We did accept you here for a reason, of course. All gender mistakes aside. You're lacking a little in clubs and extra extracurricular activities, but your grades and aptitude tests more than make up for it. It shouldn't be a problem, really. You'll fit right in. How she came to that conclusion, I have no idea. Actually, hold on, let me check something. Um, I... I don't think... Listen. When did she get so close to me all of a sudden? Are you serious? I know you need this. This is your final year, right? Yes. Then you have... Then you have entrance exams coming up, and you have to be thinking about your future. Further delaying your administration to a school puts you behind in your studies, and could be a distraction to your record. Disastrous for your record. If you enter late, you are to be playing catch-up with your classmates. Getting admitted to another school is going to take time. But if you stay here, all you have to do is pretend. Think of it like a dream club that happened to be full-time. Boy, I don't think uh, teachers are really exposed to be uh, recommending. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see where that could land someone in trouble. Drama? She does have a point, though. I never had much to distract me from schoolwork, so my grades have always been high. No friends to go out with on the weekend or have lunch with during school hours. I guess it made me very studious. And... While I do want friends, I, uh, I don't want that my, I don't want that my grades to change now. I think that, I don't think, I'm, I think that's just wrong. When it matters most. I, uh, I guess, but how am I supposed to do that? Oh, that's the easy part. You'll just have to dress like, <laughs> like you're one of the girls. Right. So easy. Is she out of her mind? Oh, boy. Well, you said you didn't want to leave, and you said you'd do anything. So, I'm sorry, mate, but, uh, you're doing it. I see. To be honest, it's a little daunting being told that I have to dress up like a girl. As far as I know, a lot of work goes into a girl's daily maintenance. And the mandatory school uniform involves a skirt, which seems risky. But Miss Rowan is looking at me so intensely, I can't bear to say no to her. I get the feeling that she's really taking a chance on me. I guess we both are. Are you okay with it then? I don't mean to have... I don't think I have much of a choice. <laughs> nope, not really. Does, does she have to say that so brightly? Half the time, I can't even tell if she's being serious or not. I'm glad you're in agreement. Some boys your age wouldn't be so mature about it. It's a good quality to have. I'm not sure I can pull it off, to be honest. Just the fact that you, just the fact that you're not freaking out over your masculinity or something is good enough for me. Or for actually having the skill to do it. I'm sure you'll pick it up I'm sure you'll pick it up quickly. Or do you think that women are mysterious creatures never to be understood? 
I don't know which way to answer that and not to be offensive. Which it, which is, in and of itself, a good answer. You're thoughtful, Shoujo, or Shoji. That's a quality that will help you here, and one I personally admire. See, you're proven to be a good fit for this school already. I hope so. Now, about your clothes. I think you don't have to... I take it you didn't bring any woman's attire. What? No. Why would I? Oh, no reason. I was just asking. <laughs> oh boy, I can't teehee. Anyway, we'll need to change that soon. I have my schedule here. If you just give me a moment, I'm sure we can work something out. Hmm. For now, though, let's just, let's just adjust your hair a little. Uh, what are you... There, you look like a girl already. That's not a compliment! That quickly? I should be able to find a suit. I should be able to find a substitute for my second period tomorrow. Your second period? Do you teach class too? Ah, of course. Ah, of course you wouldn't know. I teach gym here, as well as being the principal. I've never heard of a principal that moonlights as a teacher, but. I've never been to an all-girls school either. My principal at my school I went to actually uh, was the band teacher, and he was the best teacher of all time. Wait, what does her second period have to do with me? Yes, I think that'll work out nicely. I'll have someone cover my class, and then we can go shopping together. It's, wait, what are we gonna go shopping? Okay. Wait, how old is she? She does not look old. Shop shopping with the principal. When I said I wanted to go to, an, go to a new school and make friends, this really isn't what I meant. Um, is that really necessary? Don't we have uniforms? For the most part, you'll be wearing the school uniform, yes, but during off hours, you're allowed to dress casually. I know it's an odd situation, but wearing your school uniform would come across as strange. This entire situation is strange. You'll be okay tonight, though. This is... There is a dress code, of course, though you're not really at risk of breaking it. But we should start on crafting your identity as a girl as soon as possible, don't you think? Right now, I don't know what to think. Great! I don't even say anything. This is all happening so fast, I feel like I can't keep up. But still, for all the hurdles suddenly being thrown in my way, I got the sensation that the, I've got the sense that this soup and situation somehow worked out in my favor. At least Miss Rowan seems enthusiastic about me joining the school. Um, Miss Rowan? Yes. What about my, um, appearance? Oh, don't worry about that, Shoji. You're definitely pretty enough to be a girl. I'm not sure whether this is a compliment or an insult, but with the way she said it, I think it was intended as the former. Now I'll see you tomorrow, then. Wait, how do I get out of... <laughs> how am I going to get out of here dressed like this? I hear Miss Rowan's voice from two different directions. Selena to Miss Rowan's office. Selena to Miss Rowan's office. Who's Selena? Won't you realize I'm a boy? Girls can dress boyish too. Even if they want. I don't it doesn't necessarily imply anything. And if she is suspicious, this will be a good ex this will be a good exercise in thinking on your own feet. You're testing me already? I wasn't thinking about it like that, but I guess you could say it in a way. Just try to relax and look natural. I think you're supposed to be here. Everything will be fine. I think. Crap. I can feel my heart racing, but Miss Rowan looks very calm. Selena will show you around and take you to your room. I gotta drink real quick. My voice is going. Oh my gosh. That was the one thing about visual novels. For someone who used, isn't used to talking very often. <coughs> Wait, is this a girl? This is, okay, this is another teacher because holy smokes, they all look so old. <coughs> I gotta think of a new voice now. I'm so sorry, my voice has got this like terrible tickle in it. 
You called, Miss Rowan? Oh, wow. I really wasn't expecting to be taken to my room by a girl like her. Ugh, that doesn't even sound right when I think about it. She's looking at me a little strangely. I wonder if she suspects anything. Sela, this is Shoji. She's a new student here who got here a bit late, and I thought you'd like to show her around. Right, she. I need to get used to the new pronouns. Oh, definitely. I'd be happy to. Since it's a boarding school, it's not very often we get new students in higher grades. I'll be, it'll be nice to have a new face around our class. I, I'm glad to be here. That smile. Sh sh is she always so enthusiastic? Yes, I got the voice right. She looked like an enthusiastic character. It's nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you as well. I think I've done all right at talking softly so far. Make sure she gets settled in, Selena. Oh my gosh, my voice. Here's the key to here's the key to her room in Block B, and take Sho and take Shoji to her class as well. Got it. Come on, Shoji. I'll show you all the places you need to know about to get started. Uh, man, this text is almost hard to read sometimes. Plus, the best ways to beat your classmates to to class each morning if you've got. If you if you're the go-getter type, have a good day, you two. Thanks. See you later. Much later. See you, Miss Rowan. This is the main hall. It gets really crowded when cla before classes begin, so a lot of us choose to walk outside instead. Maybe it's just me, but the stroll outside always helps me clear my head. Do you like outdoors, Soji? Um. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, it sounded like a dumb question, right? I was just curious about where you're from, if you were a city girl or not. Is this the right answer to this question? Uh, my parents travel a lot, so really, I've lived all over. Oh, well-traveled. You're so lucky. I think traveling would be really exciting. I never get to go anywhere. You'll have to tell me about the new places, the places you've been to sometimes. Okay, sure, whatever you want. Great. As this is the also, this is the storage closet. Usually only upperclassmen are allowed to dig around in here. But if you need to get something, it's polite to knock. Knock? Come on, this way. Oh, I see what's going on now. Selena seems like Selena seems to like to talk, or at least she does she doesn't mind my being quiet. The school's campus is pretty big. I'm still a little confused by the layout as she takes me through the hallways. I realize now I didn't even come in through the main entrance this morning. Although, getting lost is the least of my worries right now. And it's hard to concentrate on directions with her walking next to me. Now isn't the, to now isn't the time to be getting distracted with things like, the with with things like those? Hm. I mean that. Oh, okay, that was wrong intentional. I was like, what? Uh, I need to focus. And here's your classroom. So, this is this is this is a classroom in an all girls school. Well, yeah, it's just like any other classroom, doesn't it? Oh, yes, of course. It's just I've never seen one before. So, you were expecting it to be pink or something? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I was only joking. It's a pity we won't be in the same class together, though. We won't? Afraid not. Our grade is split into two classes, so in a sense, that makes us rivals. I don't really see why that would be the case, but if she says so. But I hear good things about your teacher, so I wouldn't worry too much. You might be able to squeak off now and then. S squeak off. <laughs> Sneak off. Sneak off. What is she talking about? I decided to leave those questions for later. Now, the real challenge would be finding my way back back here tomorrow. Do you mind if we go back to the dorm from here? I want to try and memorize the way so I'm not late tomorrow. Sure thing. That'll probably be a good idea now that you mention it. This way, I'll take you through the grounds so you can see them too. I can tell that there's that there's something on her mind from the way she keeps looking at me. She's sticking to normal questions, which is a relief. 
Some students like to bring lunch out here and eat in the sun. It's a nice break from being inside all day. I just can't stand being cooped up inside, sitting still, you know? Gym and lunch is always the highlight of the day for me. What about you? I'm not the greatest athlete. You've come over to... You'll come over to my side eventually. Once I teach you the ropes, that is. Part of me was hoping for an invitation to sit with her at lunch, but there wasn't one. Still, her kindness seems genuine so far, and I'm glad I got to meet her first. It would have been bad if it was someone more curious. Home sweet home, this is your dorm. It might not look like much right now, but once you get it personalized a little, you'll be comfortable. Thank you. I can find my way... Oh. Huh. Wait, did she just shut the door? A number of times I've been alone with a girl in a private room, I can be counted on one hand. And the counting wouldn't take up that many fingers. So, I've got to ask, are you a lesbian? Is that the sort of thing that girls just like to ask each other? W what? I'm, uh... Sorry, it's a difficult question. No. Uh, no, it's not a... Uh, no, it's not a difficult question, or no, I'm not a lesbian. Yes, I mean, both. I'm not a lesbian. Wait, was that the right answer? I mean, I definitely like girls, but... Uh, I'm so confused. Uh, uh, sorry, maybe that was a little forward, hmm? I just noticed your clothes, since they're real boyish. I thought maybe it was your... it was your statement, you know, the cute botch toy... The cute butch tomboy type. Oh. I can see where she might have come to that conclusion. No, nothing like that. I just really like comfortable clothes. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess that makes sense. Still, I bet you look extra cute in your uniform like the other girls' clothes, don't you? Really? Because I'm trying extra hard not to think about it. I don't really think so. Aw, you're so modest, too. Well, I'm glad you're going to be with us this year. Like I said, we're not in the same class, but I'm sure I'll see you around. Have a good night. Just like that, she's gone. And I finally get a moment to breathe, and I think, actually, and actually think. This is also bizarre. I doubt that Mom knew what she was signing me up for. But, to think that she would fault me for... But, I think she would fault me for doing what I have to do. The principal approved of it, so must be okay, right? Hmm. Miss Rowan did say there would be a uniform in here ready for me. I wonder if it's in the wardrobe. Oh, are these? The skirts are one thing, but folded neatly at the bottom of the drawer. Are those panties? <laughs> Not the panties! They even have the school colors and logo on them. How adorable. This is all too strange. I think it's even making me tired. I should unpack, but really, it's not even going to wear- Not even going to be wearing those clothes much. Why bother? All I want to do is sleep. Maybe I'll wake up and this will all be one of those strange anxiety dreams. Hmm? What happened yesterday? I wonder what time it is. Ah! I didn't set an alarm! Um, that's the only- that's one way to wake up in the morning. I should probably get up now, though I'd never gotten ready as a girl before. Plus, I didn't unpack last night. One hour later. Alright, anyway guys, I think that's going to about wrap it up for the first episode of High School X Romance. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode, and a uh, rating would be much appreciated. I can't wait to uh, go ahead and get in, and hopefully my girl voices didn't totally make you cringe out of your seats but anyway guys i have been fiddle fairy and i will see you back on the prowl next time Bye bye